All right, so today we are, remember yesterday we were looking at um, straight line equations, which is what we call is linear. So now we're going to look at what with the internet, the, sorry, the intercept and the slope of these um, straight line equations. So we normally, like in previous, sorry, we have had, we've seen the straight line equation look like this, where we've said that this um, m value was your slope. And we've said that this C value was the Y intercept. So now in general maths, we they it's still it is still the slope and it's still the Y intercept, but they write it in a different spot. So here we now have A, we put the Y intercept first. So A is the Y intercept, and then we have um, the B value is the same as the slope. So we just put it differently and obviously they like when we write it with that, they put the um, intercepts generally written first. But what you want to probably want to write is that the, the y-intercept is the number by itself. Yeah, so in any way, either pattern mx plus c or a plus bx, the y-intercept is a number by itself. And if you look at the gradient or the slope so we often call it slope now we won't probably say gradient a lot we'll just call it the slope so the slope is the number with the x or the number with the pronumeral i'm going to say pronumeral because pronumeral means the letter so we can just put x in bracket so you're used to it so what i'm just going to sorry zoom in here a little bit so what we have, so it's pretty easy. We're just trying to get used to that. They're saying write down the y-intercept and the slope of these, um, these equations. So here I could say the y-intercept is negative 6 and the slope is um, 9. So you make sure that you are putting the sign that goes with it. So here, this has a y-intercept of 10 or positive 10 and the slope, we need to write that it's negative 5. So we know that one would be going downwards left to right. Now, with this one, this y-intercept is 0. There is no, it goes through 0. Even though the number's not there, it actually cuts through that center of the graph. If you think about it, the graph here, it's cutting through there like that, okay? And the, sorry, so that's zero. And the slope here would be negative two, okay? Now, with this one, it's not written. Now, we can only read the, the intercept and the slope off if it's actually written as y equals a plus bx. So if you look at this version, it's not written like that. So what we want to do is first we want to move this over the equal sign so that it's written differently. Now, if you move something over an equal sign, it does the opposite. So if I'm taking away 4x, what's the opposite? Adding. Adding. So we've got positive 4x, and I didn't move the 5, so it's still a plus 5. So I've actually written it in the old way. So if we do that, what is the y-intercept? Remember I said the y-intercept is the number by itself. Five. So what's the y-intercept is 5. And the slope is the number with the letter or the x generally. So we're going to say it's 4. Okay. So that one we just got to be a little bit careful. Now, next thing they're doing, we're just, just so we're getting used to it. Don't worry, we're not going to get lots of questions like this. But it's to get you used to that a is that y-intercept value and b is the slope. So they want me to write down the equations in y-intercept and slope for, um, with the slope. So all I have to do is y equals, now they're saying the intercept is 9, so that's the number by itself, and the slope is 6x. So what would this next one would be? y equals, it'd be 2, and it'll be minus 5x because the slope is that. And then the last one is negative 3 plus 2x. So really pretty simple. It's totally easy. So what we want to do here, they it, we've got sketching the straight line from its equation. So what we're going to do here is I don't, um, I just want you, you can use um, 
use the calculator. So we're going to practice doing that. So I'm just going to, I'm going to write it over here in case when I pop up my calculator, it blocks it. So we go to home, remember, so we're going to sketch this graph. We go to this, the one with the, the graph or the axes here. And then what we're going to do is remember that's the same as f1 of x is the same as saying y equals, and I'm going to go 8 plus 2x. So I pop that in and I press enter. Now I can't really see it there. So if you look in your notes yesterday, we said menu, and it's actually said to go uh, window zoom. And sometimes if you just go zoom fit, and now I can see the axes and because why I want to do that, because I want to get where it crosses the two axes, like the X axes and the Y axes, because if I get that, that's a better sketch. So then once we've done that, just go to menu, geometry, points and lines and point on. So you click on the graph. I say, yeah, I want that graph. And then you move. Oh, shit, sorry. Um, so you go point on and then you just hover down near where it is and it'll tell you it's intersection point. So zero, 08 and then I just say which graph again. I want to do that graph and it'll highlight it up and then head towards the other intersection and you can see you get negative 4 and 0. So if I go to sketch that, all you got to do when you sketch it is use your ruler, draw your axes very simply, okay, it's just sketching. And all you do, and then draw the line. No need to like actually put all the labels. It's just sketching it, and we just pop in um, the points. And I think this one was zero eight, wasn't it? Yeah, the y-intercept is eight, and this one was negative four zero. And there you're done. So that's all you need to do. So when you sketch a graph, you really only ne ever need two points to sketch a graph. So um, that's the main thing. So just use your calculator. If you get, um, if you've forgotten, just watch the, the video, this video again, and go over it. Oh, um, again. All right. So then hopping down. So let's have another go. So it says uh, sketch the straight line. So in this one, I'm just popping it here so I can see it when I open up the calc app. So we'll do it again. So let's have a go. We've go. We go to the graph page. Remember it. Um, it's the same as what f of x means the same as y. I'm going to go 5 plus 3x and I press enter. I can see it there, so I'm not going to worry. I like zooming out. I can see that. So to get the points, I'm going to go geometry, points and line and point on. I tell it this graph and then I hover up there and it tells me. I say that graph again and I hover down and when I see the intercept. So then if I go over here and I sketch it, just have to be really quick, put your labels, that'll do. Then sometimes it's better if you draw the line a little bit separate. And I can't remember what it was. Zero, yeah, sorry. Zero and five. And what was this one? Negative 1.67. That's okay. We'll just leave it like that and zero. Okay, done. Sketched. All right, so today off you go. Mainly what I want you to be able to do is use the calculator, okay? So this is what you want to remember. See how quickly I do it? You want to be able to do that and go, no, I know how to graph on a, I can graph this equation on the calculator.